QuickBooks Online 2022 OneNote Presentation, Accounting Process and Forms Overview. Let's get into it with Intuit's QuickBooks Online 2022. If you have access to OneNote, would like to follow along, icon, left-hand side, topic, introduction, 1080, accounting process and forms overview tab. Also take a look at the immersive reader tool or topic introductions will be in the text area too with the same name, same number, but with transcripts, transcripts that can be translated into multiple languages and either listened to or read in them. Same name and number as presentations as well. The topic introductions designed to give an introduction to the topic, provide screenshots, links, where applicable give accounting background to complement the presentations and can be used to follow along with them if you don't have access to the software at that time closing the icon on the left hand side we're looking at the accounting process as we do so we're going to break the accounting process down into cycles look at each of those cycles and then look at the forms that are used to enter the financial transactions for each of those cycles. Remember that the cog up top represents the items that will typically be the settings and underlying foundational type of things. And then the new button over here, as well as the tabs on the left hand side are the items that you will use typically to navigate around as you enter the normal transactions in the normal accounting process. So this is a quick look at the business view, just so you can see a different view, a look at the layout on the business view as it is currently shown. QuickBooks may change and toggle back and forth and A-B test their website, but the accounting and double entry accounting system will remain the same. So it's just a matter of finding where they put the new uh, or the information. It's the same information, might have some different nerms, ner names, some different terminology, different location, but it's all the double entry accounting system. Back to the accounting view, we're gonna hit the plus item up top. We've got the customers, we got the vendors, we got the employees, we've got other. These are the three cycles that you can typically think of breaking your accounting cycle into. The customer cycle could be called the accounts receivable cycle, the sales cycle, the revenue cycle. These then are the forms that will typically be entered for that cycle. The vendor cycle could be called the purchases cycle, the payable cycle, the expenses cycle. These are the forms that'll be used to enter the data input with relation to financial transactions for it. And then the employee or payroll cycle. Then we have the tabs on the left-hand side. We of course have the payroll tab on the left-hand side, which would be called like the payroll cycle. The sales tab basically represents kind of the customer center, or you can call it the, 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 uh, the customer center or the sales cycle center. And then the expenses area could be called basically the vendor center, finding information around that cycle. I find this, this being the flowchart on the desktop version, even though we're looking at the online version, I think this desktop version flowchart is a very good flowchart that gives you an idea of the flow in terms of the forms that will be impacted and uh, the, pro the order of those forms as you go through each of the cycles, vendor cycle, customer cycle, employees cycle. The online version will typically have the same names and the same forms and so you could basically use this flowchart to get an idea of the general cycles, which we'll go into in more detail as we go through each of those cycles, breaking down these forms, looking at the financial transactions that are created by them when we use them.